My child is pursuing B.Tech from an Indian Institute of Technology, IIT. It is a dream of every parent that my son or daughter would pursue B.Tech from an Indian Institute. Every PCM student is sold this dream by society, by coaching centers that if you're not doing B.Tech from an IIT, it's not worth it, right? But very few people know that the top institute in our country, Indian Institute of Science also has its own B.Tech program with very limited seats, special seats, I must say, because a lot of people reject IITs and come to IC Bangalore. It's not an ordinary course. When I'll tell you about the details, the course structure, the subjects that are taught in this, you will be amazed. It's very much oriented with research projects as well as artificial intelligence and machine learning. Hi everyone, this is your Vivek Bhaiya. In this video, I am going to tell you each and every detail about B.Tech in mathematics and computing from Indian Institute of Science. I am going to tell you about eligibility criteria, how to prepare, what are the exams to take admissions from, what is the fee structure, what is actually taught in this course and do you get any scholarship or not. So let's start this video. First, we are going to start with the eligibility criteria for B.Tech in mathematics and computing. As you can see here, your class 12th can be from 2023, 24 or 2025. That means first or second dropper students are also eligible. Second, in your class 12th board, you must have at least 75%. And if you are in ST, SC, PWD category, you must have at least 65%. Now, in case you do not satisfy this criteria, you can come to second one. You can be in top 20 percentile of your respective board examination with calculation of marks from physics, chemistry, maths, any language subject or any other subject, total five subjects. That means if you're not having 75 or 65 percent in your boards, you can be in top 20 percentile of your board, respective board, if you are in state board, CBSC, ICSC and so on, right? And third one, that the selection will happen through J advanced. Right, that's it. In this, PCM is compulsory. As you can see here, physics, chemistry, and mathematics are compulsory subject in the first attempt of your 12th board examination. Now, you can see the total number of seats as mentioned here, 52, out of which eight are reserved, 20% for females, four for foreign nationals. Application fees, which is not refundable, is just 500 rupees for general OBC EWS for all other categories it is ST SC PWD for them it is just 250 rupees and it is not refundable there are few other instructions that you can read I'll give the link of this website in the description below right so this is about the seats let's see the important dates the application will start from the first of the May and the last date is 6 of the June just like the four-year BS program of SC Bangalore Right, for those of you who do not know, apart from B.Tech, there is a four-year B.S. program as well. And I have made a detailed video about that. You can check here. Now, there will be further updates on this. Whenever the registration starts, I'll let you know on this channel. You can subscribe. By the way, you need to apply separately for J and B.Tech program in this. Because it is just taking J advanced as a route, right? As a route for the admission. You need to separately apply for SC Bangalore to get admission. If you just apply for IC Bangalore, but you do not give JE advanced examination, then also you will not be allowed to take admission, right? So that is very obvious, I hope. Now let's check the fees. It is a bit higher as compared to four year BS program because in BS program, the fees is literally about 15,200 rupees for entire year, the tuition fees, I'm talking about that, right? Including few other fees as well which is less than my own, uh, you know, Alva Mater, Nizer Bhuvdeshwar. At Nizer, we paid about 20,000 rupees, 19,600 for entire year. In four year BS, BS program at IC Bangalore, it's just 15,000 rupees. But here in BTEC program, it is about 2 lakh rupees. The tuition fees for general OBC EWS for STSC PWD, it is totally waived off. The first year fees is this much out of which there is a refundable component of about 15,000 rupees for different semesters and years you can check the fees here now you must be wondering about uh, is there any scholarship or not so for four year bs ug program at isc there is scholarship which is iscp their own promotional scheme 
or inspire scholarship but for btech program i was not able to find any such criteria or any such update mentioned that you are going to get scholarship so probably there is no scholarship in this btech because i could not find it in the website right if you can find it do let me know now let's talk about the previous year cut off data you must be very much interested about it so for general category all india rank this is category rank it was 708 for general female 2616 for ews 276 and so on you're going to get all of these links in the description of this video right so this is about the cut off i have told you the important dates the fee structure the eligibility now let us explore that what is actually going to be taught in this course so let's go to the course structure as you can see here it's a mathematics and computing course so in math you will have analysis linear algebra 1 and 2 probability statistics basic analysis introduction to algebraic structures in computing you are going to have algorithms programming introduction to electronics and electrical engineering computer systems uh, automata theory and computability introduction to numerical methods ai ml as well if you want to know much more details apart from these there are humanist subjects as well you can scroll down you can see in math each of the semester wise courses are mentioned here for computing as well is it is mentioned as you can see applied data science and artificial intelligence and this does not have hyperlink okay here is the hyperlink you can come here department of computer science and automation and see all the details right and same way you can come here you can select mathematics and you can literally check what is this course all about number theory right there are 30 credits algebraic number theory and so on so this is about the course structure you can check in this video uh, these are semester wise courses which is awesome yeah so that's it in this video i hope you like this video i would uh, highly recommend you all if you are preparing for je if you are preparing for any of uh, engineering examination entrance examinations like bits don't miss out this opportunity who knows you might land up at the top research institute in india right so with that i hope this video was helpful if you have any other doubts you can check out our ug courses video the important updates about iser aptitude test nest examination in the youtube channel we also have many students pursuing their ug program at ic bangalore many of our own sas try students are now selected in this and lot of students in various prestigious research institutes around india see you at your dream institute jai hind mm -hmm.